GoPro, start recording. Hey guys, thanks for watching Budget Bug Out, and in this video we're going to be going over this beast of a blade known as the El Chete from Topps Knives. So when I first saw this knife at SHOT Show earlier this year, I knew I had to get my hands on it. The style, the, the thickness, the weight, the everything about this knife um, just really appealed to me. The blade length on this is 12 inches long, and the spine of the blade is a quarter of an inch thick. It's made out of 1095 steel and with the handle being made out of canvas micarta. Uh, the weight is 29.5 ounces without a sheath, so just under two pounds. When you add that black kydex sheath with dangler, it does weigh in a little over two pounds, and the price on this is around $209 retail. I'm gonna be leaving the Amazon link for this, but it's currently not available at the time of this filming, so I'll also leave um, some links for where this is also currently available um, but yeah so I'm going to be going over my thoughts my experience with this knife um, some recommendations some pros and cons as well as um, some budget friendly competitive options at the end of this video so stay with me the review of the El Chete from Topps Knives begins now But here you can see the kind of the, uh, the size comparison between a regular K bar and the El Chete. So I'm going to start this video talking about my experience with the El Chete um, and kind of end it with the pros and cons. But as far as the things that I liked about it, um, I liked. Well, let me talk about the experience first. So I brought this out into the woods a few times. One of those times, I spent over eight hours in the woods using this to see if the weight um, with the Kydex sheet, it weighs a little over 10, a little over two pounds. And uh, I wanted to see if that was a factor as well as, you know, find out what it was able to do. So um, first off, using the, a nylon belt or a gun belt, you're not going to have too big of a, an issue as far as um, being able to keep your pants up. Um, so just, just have a good belt on you at all times, and really honestly, if you're a dude, you should always have a good belt anyways. And um, as far as the ergonomics go, no hot spots whatsoever. I thought there'd be an issue with my uh, in, index finger, the rest of my hand you know, in, this, um, in this larger finger choil. Um, no, not not in my experience. Not with this one. It is it's rounded. There's no sharp edges at all, um, just as you would expect um, from a uh, quality um, not, uh, product from Topps Knives. Um, uh, the the chopping capability, that extra weight added momentum, letting me process a, a lot of uh, different types of wood, and um, really really had no issues. And it, honestly, in some ways, it was more capable than a hatchet was. Although uh, I'm sure axes could do a better job, but uh, as far as my experience w was concerned, this is a, this is really is a um, jack of all trades, but you know, just like every knife, it really depends on the roll that you use this for. Because it is a little bit of a heavier blade, using this non-stop is going to um, make your wrist and hand a little bit tired um, if you're if you're using this for something that you could be using a small cutting tasks, um, using a smaller knife or for uh, lighter cutting tasks like feather sticking or whatnot, um, you might be uh, better off doing something like that. Um, and then as far as um, pros and cons are concerned, um, I did notice that the sheath, as I mentioned it says it uses a black kind of sheath and it kind of just drops and locks right into place. But if you're going to use this fastener here, um, going from the bottom up, you, it does not fasten. But it does work if you're going top down with that fastener. Also, this uh, dangler, which I highly recommend using, getting this variant, the variant that has a dangler. Um, but if, if, if this catches on your belt or seam or whatnot, um, or if you're just messing with it, um, it is definitely going to fall. Um, that extra weight is just going to, uh, is it going to, kind of fall to the ground. Uh, but if, if it's in that sheath, it'll be protected. It also has an opening uh, for, for drainage as well back there. And you can see um, 
there's a spine right there and really no issues whatsoever. It's very easy to, to get out of the shoes and put it back in, locked in place, nice and secure. Just remember that you have to do kind of push down like that. But uh, yeah, no issues whatsoever. I love this sheath, honestly. I highly recommend it. Um, you can always get a dangler uh, with a fixed blade uh, sheath set up anyways. Um, there is also a little divot right here. You can use this as a bow drill. Um, but I mean, if you're going to be rubbing sticks together, maybe you shouldn't have, you know, around two pounds of weight holding it down. But, you know, that's just my um, personal recommendation. There are some lanyard holes back here. Um, you can use this, this exposed hang as a pommeling device, or you can put lanyards back there. Um, it would be cool if the lanyard could go from the base of the tang to, you know, where that sharpening choil is. Um, and kind of creating like a hand guard, but honestly, I think that would mess up the aesthetics of it and I never felt like I needed to have that. Um, the blade wasn't, did not chip or roll or anything like that whenever I was um, processing a lot of different things with this. Um, and I just, I really loved using this knife and honestly, I'm looking forward to going back into the woods so that I can use it again, which is exactly what you want, especially if you're paying around $200 um, for a knife. As far as competitive options, as promised, I have a couple back here. We have the Kershaw Camp Knife, um, kind of a, a larger blade than the El Chete. Um, but the one that I kind of want to focus on is, this is from CRKT, this is known as the Chant in Hell. And uh, it's very similar uh, shape as far as, especially when it comes to the handle, you've got that large finger choil right there. Um, which you don't need to choke up or choke down. You get you get excellent leverage from it. And there's a, and this is more of a rubberized grip, cheaper materials, um, smaller spine, and, and different blade shape. But if you're just looking for something big that you can run around the campsite with and you know, swing around at, at trees and such, um, you know maybe this would be a, a cheaper, more budget-friendly option. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link for the Chance in Hell as well as the other um, blades on the table description box down below. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in a little bit more of, of an expensive blade, you don't mind paying uh, the premium cost for it, um, then I would definitely recommend the El Chete. Um, although it ha kinda has a dude's name, I've, I'm naming mine Veronica. Um, and for the, some of you may, may get the reference on that. The whole team is down. You got no backup here. I'm calling in Veronica. But yeah, made in the USA, Tops Knives, uh, excellent product. I, I got this by, from requesting this from Tops Knives. Um, so full disclosure. And uh, yeah, I, I, I do highly recommend this. And um, honestly, I could see myself paying a couple hundred dollars for for something like this if I didn't already have it. Let me know your thoughts on it. Is it too heavy? Is it too expensive? Is this the right knife for you? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to repair. God bless. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>